I've heard whispers about Lord Lenato. They say he's a very kind and gentle lord. Why would such a kind man suddenly raise an army? Oh, Professor, you were working late last night, weren't you? You shouldn't overdo it. A ghost might rise up from the well to get you if you stay up too late. Or so I'm told. I have a favor to ask of you. fight alongside the Knights of Saros? Hmm. Let me know if you meet anyone I might be interested in, okay? take the side of the people of Dusker. I just don't understand it. Only four years ago, they murdered our king and slaughtered the soldiers and knights who were with him, all of whom were innocent. Even if he can forgive them, I can't. Not ever. What they've done is against all codes of honor and ethics. favor to ask. Oh. Oh. Please, Professor, there must be some mistake. Lenato would never raise arms against the Church. At least, he never said anything to me about it.
Maybe. Lord Lonato. He used to stay at the monastery rather frequently. He was such a pious man, a true believer. Such a terrible shame. I wonder what changed him. Have you seen Felix around? I swear, as soon as you take your eyes off him, poof, he's gone. Ah, of course he's there. Sorry for bothering you, Professor. Thanks. Say, what? I hear that Lord Lenato served the King of Fargus' older brother when he was younger. Or something like that. He already had status and prestige, so why raise a rebellion? Eh, I guess it's none of my business. One do? Many thanks. one do? Many thanks. Come back soon. Professor, your clothes are a bit dirty. If you don't pay attention to your hygiene, the girls won't like you. I hate when my clothes get dirty. That's one of the many reasons I find it best to train as little as possible. Please come again. Yep. We're heading to Castle Gaspar. That means we'll be passing through Magdred Way. The road is well known for its beautiful surroundings. 
Depending on the time of year, it can be incredibly foggy, though. When it's like that, you can't enjoy the lovely scenery. Lucky for us, it shouldn't be too foggy while we're there. Not that we'll have time for sightseeing, anyway. There's some minor noble rebelling in Fargus, right? He has no chance of winning. I wonder what he hopes to achieve. Huh? Are you going along to help? Sounds like an easy victory, but good luck out there. Have a moment, I would like a word. It has been brought to my attention that certain individuals have been making advances toward Flame. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? If you do see anyone getting too close with Flame, please inform me of it at once. What was that noise? To do! Well, as you can see, the pan kind of exploded. Just a little. How did you manage that? I looked away for a moment and the pan just went boom! Ugh, 
I'm grateful nothing caught fire, but now the kitchen is a mess. Are you hurt? Oh, no. I just got a little spooked. <laughs> I really lucked out, didn't I? That could have turned out much worse. Indeed. But do not turn your back next time. Your life could depend on it. Right. Sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. Let me help you. Huh? I will help you clean up. No, I can't let you do that. This is all my fault. You shouldn't have to help me. I have time. Let us fix this quickly. We will need to prepare more food before the others arrive at the dining hall. Oh, you're right. So, after we clean up, you're also gonna help me cook? You object? Of course not. I'm just so sorry to bother you with this. What's the matter, Mercedes? I accidentally made this food much sweeter than I wanted. Let me taste it. Hmm, yeah, a little sweet. What if we try adding a few spices? Huh? This is delicious! You're an amazing cook, Ash! My dad used to own a restaurant. I helped out a lot around the kitchen, even as a little kid. Wow, that's a lot of responsibility to take on at an early age. No wonder you always work so hard. I might learn something if I watch you cook. Well, no promises. I just have a little bit of experience, that's all. But look at you, you're great at baking cakes. It's true that I'm quite good at baking, but I'm not the best when it comes to seasoning. Maybe it's because I don't like spicy food? It's tough to make food taste good when you don't enjoy it. I just had an idea. If the reason I can't cook spicy food is because I don't like it, then all I have to do is eat some spicy food. If I learn to like it, then I'll be better at making it, right? I don't know, maybe. What makes you say that? No, no, no. None of that matters. Once I've made a decision, I have to go with it. I'll make something spicy right away. Oh, this won't end well. If I leave her to it, she'll make an even bigger mess. Hey, Ash, which seasonings should I use? These ones? Um, uh, hold on, Mercedes. Let me show you. That one goes best with meat, but for stir-fry, what you really want is this. shopping trip took longer than expected, didn't it, Mercy? It truly did. You bought just about everything in the place. <laughs> You're so good at deciding the best thing to buy. I sort of wanted it all. I mean, not that I was excessive. I think you bought just about as much as I did. Oh, really? The number of bags you're carrying says otherwise. What? That's... Oh, fine. You got me. I was just having too much fun. I love shopping with you, Mercy. It was fun. It's nice going into town without having to run errands for once. Isn't it? And I'm pretty confident the professor will forgive our little detour. <laughs> this actually reminds me of going to school in Ferdiad. Me too. It almost feels like that time in our lives was a story from long ago. So much has changed since then. Oh, but there's at least one thing that hasn't changed. Me and you, right? We're the same old friends we always were. That's just what I was about to say. I've known you so long I can always guess. Mercy, we'll stay friends like this forever, won't we? Is something wrong? You sound worried. Since our time in the capital, so much has happened. We've had to make new lives for ourselves, and 
We've seen at least as many hard times as good. If things keep changing like this, I wonder if we'll be able to stay the same people we are now. I wonder that too. I don't think everything in the future will be perfect, but it's us. So I'm sure we'll figure it out together, right? How did you know what I was going to say? <laughs> oh, Mercy, I can always guess what you're gonna say. Oh, it's getting late. We better hurry back before the professor gets angry. You're right. Run, Mercy! What? Wait for me, Annie. You know I'm not as fast as you. Run! <laughs> This looks delicious. Let's eat. Yeah, you just get it, Professor. This is my favorite. Professor, I feel I must speak to you about Kaspar's eating habits. I've never seen the like of it. He inhales entire plates of food in mere seconds. If that is a polite way of calling him a goat, I'm inclined to agree. Whoa! Ah, today's meal was delicious. Linhart keeps bothering me about eating too fast. Says I'm gonna choke or something. You're really gonna agree with that guy? Why is no one here on my side? I desired fresh air. Hm. I have a favor to ask.
What? Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Have you talked with Catherine yet? <laughs> if the knights are the cream of the crop, she's the cream of the cream. Oh, and that relic of hers. I hear it's nothing short of amazing. What do you require? Thank you. Battalions from various territories gather at the guild. There are even some that aren't affiliated with the Church of Seros. As we are allowed to hire them, you should visit the guild soon and come to your own conclusions. As they fight, battalions will lose endurance. When that happens, you can replenish their endurance by visiting the battalion guild in the market. is one that is eating insects. Is that factual too? I am wondering who watches over the plants in Fodlin. If the flowers within the greenhouse are removed, they will soon wilt and wither. Is that not so, Professor? I feel I can empathize with them. The flowers, flowers that thrive despite their environment, are truly inspiring, are they not? Uh. Hey, Professor, do you happen to have any food on you? I'm starving. No matter how much I eat before I train, I'm always so hungry after. My muscles must be going through a growth spurt. No.
Professor, I heard that you may battle alongside Catherine. Even among the knights, she is something special. A holy knight who is able to wield a hero's relic. Still, she can be a mite difficult. Did you hear? There's news of someone in the kingdom raising an army. The kingdom, the empire, the alliance. They do love a good war, don't they? Spilling the blood of young men and women. And for what? Just to enjoy the horror of it? Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? Must thank you, Professor. This place has so many breathtaking works of art. I feel like I'm living in a museum. Each piece can teach us about styles and techniques from a thousand years ago. I'm from a family of merchants, so I've been able to see a lot of art, but I won't pretend to be an expert. Castle Gaspar, eh? I've been there once before, many years ago. It was by request of the son of that family. Kristoff, I think it was. I have a request.
you want. Studying here so I can be the best there is, just like Captain Gerald. Do you think I've got it in me to be a top tier mercenary professor? I'm going to work a lot harder than all the fancy nobles around here, I can tell you that. some time in here engaging in such idle chatter do you not know that we have not a moment left to waste forgotten I don't believe that is the truth no it is more likely you were dreaming the whole day away you must try harder from now on know that his efforts are futile, yet he can't help but fight. If I were in that situation, I would do whatever it took to ensure victory. You can count on that. Something about this situation doesn't feel right. Why would a minor lord raise an army against a foe he cannot possibly hope to defeat? Skill is impressive, I'll admit. So is her sword. But I think she's hiding something. Nobody knows anything about her past. You should spar with her. She's strong. Stronger than you are, I'd bet. Here to train? You really are as hardworking as they say. Maybe the gossip's wrong. Hardworking people usually don't like to make a big fuss about it. I've learned a lot! I've learned a lot! <laughs> That's a relief. <laughs> You're making me blush. Yes! That... 
<laughs> I'll get the next one, too. Thanks for your time. Yes, that's it. Thanks for your time. Haha, <laughs> I'm starting to get it. Got it. Good to... Wow. Professor, could you explain? That might be good.
Oh, shopping took longer than I thought. It's a good thing I had your help, Professor. Looks like we've got everything we came for. Time to head back to the monastery. To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure if the money that night gave us would be enough. We managed to scrape by, though. I'm glad those shopkeepers were willing to strike a few bargains. It's one of the few things I'm really good at. I've got a lot of experience living in the city. Money was tight for me, too. At least until a kind noble adopted me into his family. Come to think of it, you were originally a mercenary, weren't you? I'm sure you've traveled all over Fodlin. That must have been a pretty different life from regular folks like me. Huh, you think so? But a mercenary's whole job is fighting, isn't it? Must be a pretty tough way to live. I believe you. I can imagine. Oh. I had no idea they sold this book around here. I haven't seen this one for ages. Lug and the Maiden of Wind. It's a well-known tale of chivalry in Fargus. Lug is the King of Lions. This book is full of his exciting adventures. I've loved this since I was a kid. It was what got me learning to read. Give me that book! Hey, creep. Don't touch the merch. What the? Somebody catch that thief. Cut him in half like my prices. Please, calm down, ma'am. You calm down, kid. If he gets away with that valuable merch, it'll be a huge loss for me. Here, allow me to compensate you. Huh? Are you serious, kid? I mean, no objections over here, but that sounds crazy. Don't you worry. That thief will be paying me back just as soon as I catch him. Head on back to the monastery, Professor. I'll take care of everything here. Professor, do you have a moment? Well, I have this book of battle tactics that I borrowed from one of the knights. There's one part that I just don't understand. Do you think you could explain it to me? Great, thank you so much. It's about this diagram here. I don't get why the knights are grouping up in that forest there. I just can't see the advantage to a formation like that. I finally get it! You really are a great teacher. I knew asking you was the right idea. <laughs> I just love learning new things. That's why I came to the Officer's Academy. I want to learn magic, battle tactics, martial arts, and, and, well, all kinds of stuff. I'm learning more now than I have in my whole entire life. Speaking of, I'd better go visit the library for some research before magic practice, which is just before sword training. That's just not possible. I always find it's more tiring to laze around doing nothing. I've never been any good at that. I have to have something to do. Like on my days off, I need to get up early and take care of the cleaning first or I just can't relax. You know what I mean? I'm so glad you agree. You'd be surprised how rare it is to find people like us. Mercy never sets foot outside her room on her days off. I don't get that girl sometimes. Not to mention... Oh wait. Oh no! I was supposed to be on cooking duty today! I completely forgot! Sorry, Professor, but I have to run. Thanks again for your help! Ah! Who put this stupid barrel here?! Oh, my God. 
Thank you. Ugh, I'm with Ingrid. I'm not gonna get away with anything. Stop messing around and get moving. You don't work, you don't eat. Fine, fine. Let's do this. <sighs> Seems we finally finished. That's it. I'm done. No more work for me. Especially not with her. Not in a million years. It's all coming together. I've deepened my understanding. I'm getting much better. So this is how it's done. guidance that was challenging I'm certain I've improved I appreciate your guidance
Professor. Let us finish this quickly. Okay, I'll give it my all. This should be perfect. I've got it. Thank you.